Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get the unlimited death machine on Blood of the Dead. This is a special weapon that you can put in your loadout. And the first thing you need to do is build the shield. So you need to find the spirit essence on one of the afterlife shock boxes. You'll also need to turn on the power in the building 64 and also the powerhouse. And you want to kill the first Brutus that you can. Pick up that key and then you will need to pick up the door piece for the shield. Once you have all three pieces for the shield, you can build it on one of the three buildable tables. Go ahead and build that and then pick it up. The next thing you're going to need to do is charge the shield and get three zombie kills with the key. So pull out the shield, hold down right trigger, and collect three zombie souls. Then plug the key into the shield and do an afterlife blast at this voltage meter right here near the pack-a-punch. It's going to bring in the pack-a-punch and you need to have enough money to be able to put all of your guns in the pack a punch machine and leave them there. You want to be left with fists and nothing else. Once you've done that, you want to pull out the shield and get down with a zombie or you can down yourself with a grenade. Make sure you have at least one self revive available and that's going to be the number on the bottom left of your character picture. Right here you can see that I have two. One thing you're probably going to want to do before you get down and get rid of your guns is make sure that special weapon meter is completely full. You can see right here on screen on the bottom it's got a full green bar. Once you're down you're going to slow revive and once you are revived you can actually pull out that special weapon by hitting L1 R1 or L2 R2 depending on how your buttons are set up in the settings. Once you have the death machine pulled out you're gonna see that green meter bar start to deplete and when it's completely depleted you're still gonna have the death machine it's not gonna go away at this point it is unlimited. Also the death machine will be probably at a level one if you're doing this early on and that blue bar that starts to increase as you get kills will turn to to a number two. And when it turns to that number two, the death machine is going to go away. But that's not a problem. The death machine is still unlimited and what you have to do is fill up that green bar again and then you can pull the death machine back out. It'll be a level two and unlimited again. Right here, the death machine went to level two. It forced me to pull the shield out. And at this point, you can just get shield kills like melee them, key kills. You can also get an afterlife blast and kill a ton of zombies that way and refill. You can also use the free elixirs that help you to refill your special weapon. But right Right here, I just got a bunch of melees in front of the shield table and I kept it repaired to make sure I still had it. And once the special meter was refilled on the special weapon, you pull it out, see it's a level two and it will last and be unlimited. Once you get more kills with it on level two, it'll eventually get to level three. And when it does, it's gonna put the death machine away again. It's gonna pull out the shield and you just repeat the process, refill that green meter bar. And then once it's full, you can pull out the level three death machine and then have it unlimited forever. Things you can and can't do with this glitch, you can repair your shield. You can buy perks. You can fast travel. You can take the gondola. You cannot pull out your shield. If you do, you'll have to refill the meter bar on the special weapon and then just pull that back out. And if you buy a wall weapon, that will make the death machine go away and you will have to repeat this process. This glitch does work on the other special weapons. It works for the flamethrower. And what I like about the flamethrower is that whenever it levels up to like two and three, it just switches to the next level. It doesn't pull out your shield and make you refill that that special meter bar. Right here, I'm about to get enough kills to level over to two, and you can see it just switched it, and I didn't have to worry about refilling anything. It just gave me the new one. One thing I noticed between the death machine and the flamethrower is that the flamethrower takes more kills to level up, it seemed. The death machine needed less kills to get to level two and three. This glitch does work to have unlimited Ragnaroks, and what's different about these, though, is that you can't do a slam. You can't hold right trigger or left trigger, but what you can do is jump in the air when a zombie is around and it will kill everything around you. A lot of people are doing a glitch with the Ragnaroks where they can get onto a high barrier and when they just stand there it will kill everything underneath them that piles up. I'm not going to be showing that in this video. Also with this glitch you cannot hit right or left trigger. You can't slam the Ragnaroks or put them down. You're stuck with them in your hands and the only way you can kill is by jumping whenever a zombie comes by. Also the Ragnaroks act like the death machine when you level them up to two and three. As soon as it reaches two it will put them away and pull out the shield and then you have to refill that special meter bar. If you don't have a shield, it's just going to pull out your fist. So make sure you have a shield. It's going to be the only way that you can get kills and refill that meter so you can pull the Ragnaroks out again. And for the fourth and final special weapon, the Path of Sorrows or Takio's Katana, this does not work with this glitch. You can do it and hold the sword out forever, but you can't hit right trigger, left trigger, or melee, nothing. It will not swing and kill anything. I suspect that this works for the special weapons on the Chaos story and 
and I haven't tried those yet. I'm going to go check them out now, and I'll let you guys know, but I hope you all enjoyed this, and we'll see you next video. Thank you for watching Glitching Queen's video. Oorah!